This is Commerce Township on the outskirts of Detroit, Michigan. It is an American suburb similar to many others around the U.S. It is completely surrounded by vast stretches of untamed nature. There are large lakes dotting the landscape from all directions. There are lush wetlands that intersect between the roads and people's homes. And there are national parks and a multitude of healthy forests everywhere. In fact, in the spring and summertime, the entire place is green and the woods are teeming with wildlife. Especially one illustrious creature can often be seen waddling about. This creature is the Virginia opossum. Although considered a nuisance by many, it serves a very distinct purpose in the wild, for it is nature's garbage disposal. In fact, most of its life revolves around eating or finding food. And since it is an omnivore and a scavenger, nothing is off the menu. They have a pointy snout, grayish fur, and long rat-like tail. But these are not the only characteristics the opossum has to show off. It is also North America's only marsupial, meaning they raise their young in a pouch, which can be found on the lower side of their bellies, much like a kangaroo. There are nipples on the inside of the pouch, which the young suckle for food. When the babies are born, they are very small and without fur. Up to 13 babies will fit into this pouch, which doesn't really allow for any wiggle room. They must spend several months in here in order to develop and grow stronger. When they are old enough, they leave the pouch and stick close to mommy until she decides it's time to leave them. Unfortunately, accidents do happen, and often mothers with full pouches will get hit by passing traffic, leaving the babies all alone. Luckily, there are people who rescue these orphans and nurture them until they can take care of themselves. These babies have lost their mother to a traffic accident. Luckily, they could be saved. And with a little help, they will be able to survive without their mother. They are still very young and it will be several months before they are big enough to be on their own. For now, they are tube-fed a highly nutritious diet which will help them grow strong. After supper time, they return to their new improvised pouch to have a rest. On the hind paws, the opossum has a thumb, which helps it to climb and grip onto surfaces. It also has a long naked tail. It is prehensile, meaning they can wrap it around objects and grab onto things. They rely heavily on their sense of smell in their never-ending mission to find food. This opossum has picked up the scent of something irresistible, and whatever it is, it can't seem to get enough of it. A stinky garbage can is like a treasure to the opossum when it's searching for food. It is just this behavior and their somewhat rat-like appearance that have earned it an unwelcome reputation amongst humans. 
The last time we saw our orphan babies, they were still very small and weak, but since then they have grown quite a bit. They are already starting to take on many of the typical opossum traits. They are now capable of eating regular food as opposed to being tube fed, and they are curious about their new surroundings. Older opossums are solitary animals. They live alone and never interact with their own kind unless it is mating time. It seems, for now, these youngsters are enjoying each other's company as much as possible while they still can. It is the only time in their lives that they have a chance to be sociable. But wait, one straggler has become separated from the group. He wanders around desperately, calling out for his brothers and sisters. Where did they all go? He searches high and low, hoping to pick up a scent. Finally, after a long search, the young one finds them back at the den, and they all settle down for a well-deserved nap. Sometimes when an opossum gets startled or scared by something, it will stop in its tracks and simply fall over pretending to be dead. It is a reflex to danger known as playing possum. Since most predators will not eat dead things, playing possum is actually an effective survival strategy. They can remain in this near comatose state for several hours. This opossum is having a leisurely stroll wandering about the forest, always with its nose to the ground searching for food. They are a vagrant animal, wandering from place to place, never settling down for too long. They will sleep in hollowed out tree stumps or old dens of other animals, moving on when their current food source runs low. It is perhaps this characteristic that helped the opossum to adjust to most living situations with relative ease. The opossum does not hibernate like many other animals in the area, making the harsh cold winters a difficult time for finding food. So difficult, in fact, that in recent years, cold snowy winters have taken a deadly toll on local opossum populations. They can be found all over the United States, but Michigan is about the furthest north they will venture. For now, this opossum seems to be doing just fine. Some time has passed since we first met our group of small shaky-legged orphans. They grew larger and more curious with every day. They enjoyed each other's company as they inadvertently prepared for a life of solitude. Now they have grown into formidable little opossums. Their fur has become longer and frizzier their senses have sharpened and they are capable of fending for themselves. As night draws near, the young ones prepare to head out one last time. Except this time, on their own, without their brothers and sisters. Uncertain of the future, they are now ready to start their own journey. They are ready for their own tale to begin. to 
go back to